When it comes to Mayor Pete Buttigieg, I honestly and truly do not see the appeal. Everything that he does, whether it's something that he says or something that he's doing with his body, comes off to me as scripted, it's intentional, and it's staged. So all along, I've had this feeling that Pete Buttigieg was trying to emulate, copy, morph into Barack Obama. And now there is video evidence that that's exactly what he's trying to do. So two different Twitter users, I'll put their links in the bio, put together some compilations of Mayor Pete doing his best Barack Obama impression. Let's take a look at the clips and then discuss. The way we when do we every other election, by giving it to the person who got the most votes. Just a thought. thought. Brings us because together. This, now, country this country was, was built. built. And it is a cools. movement reaching into and church basements, basements and barber and in our and schools, into universities and, and with our kids. Halls. And if the voice we can change the neighborhoods and we can change the city. city. Shining as a beacon, is a beacon around to the, world. the world once more. And, and this, this is, is our chance to answer that call. It just took one person. One person started it, and then a bunch of others began to do the same. And if we can light up a high school gym like that, then we can light up a neighborhood. And if we can light up a neighborhood, then we can light up a city. And if we can light up a city, we can light up this whole country. And if we light up this country, then everyone can make sure this country we love shines as a beacon around the world once more. started. It shows you what one voice can do. One voice can change a room. And if a voice can change a room, it can change a city. And if it can change a city, it can change a state. And if it can change a state, it can change a nation. And if it can change a nation, it can change the world. Virginia, your voice can change the world tomorrow. So honestly, those clips were pretty funny to watch. It is highly apparent that Pete is trying to be Barack Obama. But to give him some credit, I will say that that happens a lot with politicians where they'll just use generic phrases like they both do, like beacon of light and coming into the schools and the barbershops and the communities. These are things that any generic politician will say. But it's a little bit different with Pete Buttigieg about how he copies the cadence and rhythm that Barack Obama does. And in that second clip there, they even have like the same format with the type of speech that they're giving. It's incredible uh, how similar both of those things are. Now, there'll be Pete Buttigieg supporters that say, well... Pete Buttigieg is giving that first speech because the lights went out in the gym and he's talking about something that actually happened. I don't believe you. I don't believe that. Yes, that may have happened, but like I said before, Pete Buttigieg is the type of person that would stage something like that. Lights and gyms don't just go off like that one at a time if there's any sort of blackout or anything like that. They would all go out at the same time. And maybe even a backup generator would come on as soon as all of those lights go out. And, uh, and even in that gym, that natural lighting would probably light up the place. So that's all to say that I don't believe that this is something that's genuine. It wouldn't strike me as something out of the norm if Pete were to do that because he's so scripted and staged. And while this isn't a policy critique, I think the quality of a candidate is also a factor when it comes to voting for someone. I fancy myself the average voter, so if I'm feeling that everything that Pete Buttigieg does is scripted and staged, there's a high chance that many other people are feeling the same thing. And that's detrimental to a candidate. If you want to beat Trump, someone who many people vote for because he shoots from the hip, he's the type of person that says what he wants to say and kind of just gets away with it, this is not the type of person that you run. A lot of the people that vote for Trump say that 
they voted for him because uh, he says what he's thinking. He says what we're all thinking. He says whatever he wants to, and that's a quality that they appreciate. Pete Buttigieg is not the type of person that speaks their mind, at least to me. Everything that Pete Buttigieg says is something that's been filtered through consultants, through his campaign staff, through his campaign managers, and then it comes out of his mouth. It's been focus grouped. It's been tested. He won't say it unless it tests well. This isn't the type of person that you run against Trump. So while people might think that criticizing how he talks or criticizing what he says is not substantive, it really is something that you can critique a candidate over. There's only one candidate in the race that I trust to speak their mind and tell it like it is. And that's Bernie Sanders. You know, he's up on stage talking about how he wrote the damn bill and he's authentic. He's genuine. You're not going to get genuine. You're not going to get authentic. You're not going to get real out of Pete Buttigieg.